Hey there guys, I wanted to do a video about creating designs quickly. One of the pieces of feedback that I've gotten on the YouTube channel is that some people are saying, well, it's really difficult to create so many designs. So how do you do it? How do you upload so many designs? So I thought it'd be kind of fun to just show you how I can create six designs in like 10 minutes. So I'm going to go into Photoshop here. This is what I use to create designs. And I'm just going to pick a really easy like phrase or something. So don't get too hung up on the actual design. I'm just using this as an example. But I'm going to go into File and New. And then I'm going to use one of my presets here. And I've got a whole bunch of different presets. But the one that I'm going to be looking for here is Redbubble. That's my default template that I use. So when I click on that, that gives me now the largest canvas to work on Redbubble designs. I'm just going to go into view and fit on screen makes it a bit bigger and then from there I'm just going to pick like a color like say a hot pink design so I'm going to do like a pink and then I'm going to pick a phrase so I'll just pick something like really generic here like Merry Christmas and from there I'm just going to make it more spaced out here so I'm going to go into my tool here. Actually, I'm going to, you know what I like to do instead is I'm just going to make it two different lines because then I can really control the spacing. So I'm just going to do Merry and then I'll do Christmas like this. And the reason I like to do that is because sometimes I like to move this stuff around. Like I might make it look like that, for example. So rather than just centering it, I might do something like this. And the reason is just it makes it a little bit more artistic. So I'm going to use that. So I've got my two layers on the right hand side, Merry and Christmas, and I'm just going to put it right like that. And that's my design. Okay, so that's the first one that I'm going to save. So I'm going to go and go file, save as, and then I'm going to save it as a PNG file. And I'm going to go in, I'm just going to create a new folder and I'll call it Merry Christmas. I'm trying to do all this in real time, so it may be a little bit messier than like a properly edited video. So I'm going to save this one as hot pink. So I'll just call this 01 pink. And I'll save it. Okay, so that gives me the first design. Pretty easy. From there, I'm just going to open up this design. So I'll save the, P I'll save the, the actual Photoshop file. I'll just call it Merry Christmas. master. So that's my master file. So then I'm going to go in and open up my Merry Christmas files. So this is my PNG file that I just created. That's my master Photoshop file. So I'm just going to open up my PNG file. And from here I can quickly make two more designs. I can go image adjustments, hue and saturation, and I can just drag the lightness all the way down and it now creates a black text. So this would look good if you were to do a whole different set of backgrounds. Like maybe you wanted to have a white background, white and black. A lot of people like white and black. A lot of people like black and white. And then you can use hot pink, you can use hot blue, whatever you want to do. But I would always suggest you make the design with a white and a black just for, because it's easy and because most people like it. So I'm going to do two and I'm going to call this black text. That's design number two. So we've got two designs, took us about two minutes. I'm just going to go image adjustments and invert. And I can just flip it now into white text. So this white text is now a third design. So now I can do save, 03, white text. So now I've got three designs, took me about three minutes. It's just going to save that. Okay, so now I can close this out. So now what I can do is create a red bubble sticker so I'm just going to go in and create the red bubble. I'll use the same red bubble design template. But let's say um, I want to make a circle. So let's say I want to make a circular sticker. So I'm just going to go into the shapes tool, ellipse tool, and I can make a any size sticker that I want. Let's say I want to make like an oval sticker. If you ever want to make a, a round sticker, by the way, you don't need to guess. What you can do is just, you can just start, um, making your design but hold the shift key down and that just makes a perfect circle every time so I can't modify it into an oval because I'm holding the shift key down so that's what I'm going to do here I'm going to make a perfect circle 
and then I can just adjust the corners of it and make it a bit bigger. But that's going to be my sticker that I'm going to have inside the red bubble template. Now if you ever want to do, I'm just going to delete that layer, if you ever want to make it perfectly centered, just add another layer. Doesn't matter what color you make it. I'm going to just make it pink just for to make it easy to see. And then you just select both layers and then you can make it aligned middle and aligned up and down. So this is a perfectly aligned white circle. So this now becomes the base for the next three designs. So I can go file, place, and then I can say Merry Christmas pink. I can just push that design. I can just place it right into the sticker. So I can just align it like that. Or I can just select it and force it align it top and bottom and back and forth. That becomes my fourth design. Again, these are not particularly, you know, I'm not Michelangelo here, but this is just an example of how you can quickly, using templates, so this would be pink, and I'll call this pink sticker. This is my pink text sticker. It's just going to save it. Now what I can also do is the layer, so this is my sticker layer, I can just invert that layer. So I can just go Adjustments, Invert, and that creates a black one now. So now I can create that. So let's save as PNG, and I can say that this will be my pink, but I'll call it black sticker. So now I've got a number of different plug-and-play pieces. I have a sticker layer that could be black or white. I've also got different text layers that I could insert as well. So I can insert my white text. And I could insert my black text. Now you're not going to be able to see the black text, but that's okay. I'm just going to double click my, or I duplicate my, my layer here. Just create a second layer of my sticker. And I'm just going to invert that layer. So now we've got a number of different plug and plays. We've got, quick recap, if you want black text, you can do it on a white sticker. You can do black text with no sticker. You can do white text on black sticker. White text on no sticker. You can do pink text on black sticker. Pink text on white sticker. You can also do these texts with a background, different color background. So within the span of less than 10 minutes, I've created 5, 6, 10, 12 different designs all out of the same base. So I hope you guys found that helpful. Uh, the idea here is that you're creating one base design and then with multiple variations, you can expand it exponentially. You could have 20 designs out of this one base design. And that's a very quick way that you can have them all. And oh, here's another key thing, is they're all the same dimensions. So that when you upload them to Redbubble, as long as they're relatively spaced out similarly, you can upload them pretty quickly. It takes maybe two minutes to upload a design each time because you can just copy the existing design and all the tags and all of the uh, characteristics therein. So I hope you guys found that helpful. Uh, I'm going to try to make some more of these as well. I just find that it's helpful to see how it's actually made and that you can make a design pretty much within 10 minutes and you can make multiple designs. So I hope you guys found that helpful. As always, please hit the like, please hit the subscribe. Uh, and I as I, and I really welcome your guys' feedback and questions and comments as well. So thank you. Hope you guys found that helpful.